Channel Y. Channel Y. A South Asian Canadian channel. You are watching Channel Y. The biggest South Asian media group, Y Media. Y Media. Y Media. Y Media has newspaper, midweek, radio. South Asian Pulse. Hi, I'm Amitabh Bachchan, and you're listening to South Asian Pulse. Hi, this is Amir Khan, and you're listening to South Asian Pulse. Ab har din sunen GTA ka number one radio station FM ninety one point nine. Television. You are watching Channel Y. Channel Y. You are... Prime Minister, welcome. It's a pleasure to be back. Online SouthAsianDaily dot com, the biggest South Asian media group. Y Media. Y. This part of the program is brought to you by Midweek Newspaper, published every Tuesday. Hello everyone, my name is Yudhu Jaswal. I'm the group editor here at uh, Channel Y and on behalf of Y Media Group, I'd like to welcome Pierre Polya. Mr. Polya, a very warm welcome on Y Media. How are you? A warm welcome to you. Thank you very much for having me with you today. Yes, uh, the player is all ours. Uh, Mr. Poliev, uh, the federal conservative leadership is heating up. We've uh, now seen new candidate. This morning, I was interviewing Patrick Brown, and he questioned that you've been part of, you've been complicit with the 2015 debacle that the conservatives have. What's your take on that? Well, Patrick Brown uh, has published a number of lies today. Uh, and that is, uh, first of all, he, he claimed that there was a niqab ban. That is not true. That is a lie. Uh, what the previous government proposed was that if someone is doing a citizenship ceremony, their face should be visible while they're reading off the Canadian oath. And um, so that uh, was the position that the previous government took. As for me, I stand for equality. I'm in favor of immigration. I have uh, today even announced a policy that would help immigrants gain access to jobs in the professions and trades for which they were trained, but from which they are blocked by gatekeepers, governmental gatekeepers, who prevent them from getting licenses to practice in their field of study. Uh, so I've uh, come up with a uh, clear plan that will allow the newcomers to get a uh, an answer within 60 days of applying to work in the profession or trade for which they were trained in their home country. That will allow more immigrants to work as doctors, uh, engineers, electricians, plumbers, and other high paying occupations that are in great demand. Uh, and throughout the campaign, I'll be coming out with other proposals that will help us go from the credit card economy that we have today to a paycheck economy in the future. Right. You know, we've been listening about this uh, professional thing. Our team was there uh, this morning when you were making this announcement. And uh, from Joe Wolpe to Judy Segro to Dalton McGinty, uh, accreditation of uh, international trained professionals has been an issue. So how well you are positioned to really tackle this issue now? Thank you. Mine's a little different than what we've seen before. One, I'm proposing a 60-day guarantee so that an immigrant professional or tradesperson would be entitled to get an answer within 60 days of applying to work in a profession or trade. Two, I'm proposing to give provinces additional immigration settlement money if they meet, meet that 60 day guarantee and each time they accredit and license a new immigrant to work in the licensed professions or trades. Three, I'm proposing to build a system that will allow immigrants to begin getting their credentials before they even arrive in Canada. So while they're waiting their license, uh, waiting their, uh, their visitor visa, their work visa, their um, application for PR um, in another country, they could begin working on getting their license to work in their profession so that when they get here, they hit the, ride, the ground running. The fourth and final point is that I'm going to uh, bring in uh, study loans so that if a nearly qualified applicant needs a little bit of extra help in testing and training, they could do it by uh, getting a loan that allows them to take some time off work, pay, pay for the textbooks and the testing, and uh, use that uh, to get themselves licensed to pay to high paying six figure jobs that are in desperate demand in our economy. 
Uh, very stark choices as far as the conservative leadership candidates are concerned. So, uh, including Josh Ray and any others, how how are you any different than all the other candidates? Well, a lot of ways. First of all, Patrick Brown supports a carbon tax. He believes in increasing gas prices, home heating prices, and inflation by raising carbon taxes on Canadian consumers. I oppose the carbon tax. Uh, Patrick Brown has twice been found guilty of violating the Integrity Act. Um, I, on the other hand, have not. I've been uh, fighting against uh, government scandals uh, my entire political career. And in fact, I brought in, helped uh, bring in with the previous uh, government an accountability act that uh, cleans up a scandal in politics. Um, so in other words, I, I want to work hard to make Canada the freest place on earth for everyone of all backgrounds so that they can take control of their lives. About uh, freedom, uh, you know, of course, you did support the Freedom Convoy as well. So explain us uh, how people will be more free or when you talk about freedom, if you are at the helm of affairs, you become the prime minister instead of uh, Trudeau. Well, for one, they'll have more economic freedom. Um, a lot of people feel like they're losing control of their lives. Uh, you have 32 year old men living in their parents' basements because they can't uh, afford the million dollars that it costs to buy a house in the GTA these days. You have single mothers who don't can't choose what to, to feed their kids because they can no longer afford to pay the grocery bill. And then you have many people who don't have the freedom to drive where they want to go because they can't afford a buck 70 or 80 a liter, due in part to uh, Patrick Brown and, and Justin Trudeau supporting a carbon tax on them. So the problem is that Justin Trudeau is driving up the cost of living by printing all this money that inflates the costs. He's also increasing taxes on consumers. Um, I would reverse those policies. We need an affordable government to have an affordable life. I would stop printing money to pay for our bills. Uh, instead of creating cash, I would create more, I'd have an economy that creates more of what cash buys. Uh, that is to remove the gatekeepers to produce so we can produce more affordable energy, um, generate more affordable food and build more affordable houses. So in other words, make more costs less with paychecks and not debt. Right, um, I'm big on infrastructure, but you know, one thing I see clearly lacking, 97 was the last time we saw a highway built in a GTA. So what are you going to do any different when it comes to infrastructure? Right, well, I think we need to remove uh, the red tape because right now there's so much red tape in this country you can't get anything built whether it's a, it's a house or a pipeline or a highway there are so many uh, regulatory and red tape obstacles that block uh, construction from going ahead so i'm pledging to streamline the red tape remove the regulatory rate gatekeepers so that once again we can get major projects approved in this country uh, and that includes pi uh, pipelines, transmission lines, highways, housing, and all the other basic infrastructure that we need to live a, a successful and happy life. Uh, the Conservatives have been regularly shut out uh, in the Toronto ridings. And of course, uh, Patrick Brown claimed that without the suburban ridings, you cannot form the government uh, at the federal level. And he's claiming that, yes, he has all the networks in place to win all these suburban ridings. Well, I, I hold a suburban riding in the second biggest city in Ontario, the city of Ottawa, uh, and I've won seven times. Unlike him, I am undefeated in all seven of my elections, and I don't have the kind of baggage that Patrick Brown brings. Of course, he, he's been caught lying so many times that it's going to hurt his ability to convince people in the future. He lied about his position on the carbon tax, lied about his position on sex ed, he was uh, twice found guilty of violating the Integrity Act in the province of Ontario. Uh, and uh, so that is the background that he brings, and it will drive away many votes, divide our party, and cause us to lose the next election. I, on the other hand, have a plan to unite the party uh, around the principle of freedom, freedom of speech, freedom of enterprise, uh, freedom of faith. These freedoms will unite our country and our party and help us to win the election and put Canadians back in control of their lives. We, we all talk about immigration. I would care less whether we bring in a hundred thousand or a million immigrants. Uh, we, we really talk about uh, integrating them well. What's your take on this one? I agree wholeheartedly. 
that we need integration. And that comes from allowing people to work in their field. Um, I, can, I, I constantly meet trained doctors, uh, engineers, um, uh, teachers, and other uh, uh, highly skilled people who are not allowed to work in their professions and occupations because they have we have these heavily regulated labor markets. So what I want to do with my plan to um, is to remove the gatekeepers, to incentivize provinces to quickly recognize uh, f- uh, the credentials of our immigrants so that they can work in the fields for which they were trained. And uh, that, that is the most important part is get people a paycheck so that they can fulfill their dreams and, and put their energies to work for the entire country. You know, it, it breaks my heart when we go to the emergency room for our, our little one because she's fallen uh, or she's sick and we're waiting for five hours because we don't have enough doctors in our hospitals. And yet we have trained physicians who've immigrated to Canada to, but can't work as doctors simply because uh, they can't get recognized by the licensing body. So that's why my so my plan to remove the gatekeepers and b- replace them with paychecks is so important to the integration goal. I think we're facing a challenge of lifetime as much. Uh, my last question would be on uh, foreign policy as much uh, as we may or may not agree, but I think NATO is very much in war with uh, Russia right now. So uh, can you touch a little bit about your foreign policy, how it's going to be different in terms of China, Russia, and of course, uh, uh, US and India as well? Yes, look, I think we need uh, to ban Huawei from our 5G network um, and protect Canada's technological infrastructure from espionage. Uh, With regards to Russia, um, I support strong sanctions against Putin And uh, I believe we should provide lethal weapons to the Ukrainian people so that they can defend themselves against uh, Russian aggression. We also need to help Europe become independent uh, from Russian energy. Uh, We could be exporting um, uh, roughly a million barrels of oil per day uh, to the uh, European Union. And we could also sell millions of cubic feet of natural gas. And that would allow Europeans to power their economy without being dependent on uh, the Russian um, dictatorship uh, that has used that its energy dominance in the area to finance its weaponry and carry out its aggression. So a strong international energy export plan would allow not only put paychecks in the pockets of our workers at home, but power our democratic allies abroad. Yeah, let's touch on US and India as well. Uh, U.S. and India, I think we need stronger ties with India. Um, I have supported uh, free trade with India over the years, and I believe we should rekindle the conversation with India to achieve free trade. Uh, India is the second most populous country in the world. It's the biggest democracy, um, and uh, commerce between Canada and India stands to bring great prosperity to both our peoples, uh, and so I, I support that. All right. Uh, Thank you so much for your time and we wish you all the best. Anything else you want to add before I let you go? Thank you very much. Well, I appreciate you inviting me here today. Uh, My goal is to put people back in control of their lives, allow them to earn big and growing paychecks that are uh, uh, protected against inflation so that people can make their own decisions uh, and be masters of their own destinies. Thank you. Thank you so much for your time. We'll carry on the discussion. Take care. Thanks. You too. Okay, bye. Bye now. Bye. You are watching Channel Y. Channel Y. A South Asian Canadian channel. You are watching Channel Y. The biggest South Asian media group. Y Media. Y Media. Y Media. Y Media has newspaper, midweek, radio, South Asian Pulse. Hi, I'm Amitabh Bachchan and you're listening to South Asian Pulse. Hi, this is Amir Khan and you're listening to South Asian Pulse. Ab har din sunay GTA ka number one radio station FM ninety one point nine. Television. You are watching Channel Y. Channel Y. You are... Prime Minister, welcome. It's a pleasure to be back. Online SouthAsianDaily dot com, the biggest South Asian media group. Why media? Why?